So guys, if you haven't seen my last video already, I suggest you go check that out before you even watch this video because you need to know what happened. So pretty much as most of you know by now, I went to meet up with Kevin Rudd and uh, it did not go not even close to what I was expecting. So apparently he, it doesn't, it feels like it doesn't seem like he was the one that actually set up the meeting to actually meet up with him after his lecture or whatever. Because when I saw him, he said, oh, Bailey, I didn't expect to see you here, but I got text messages by some of his like, I guess like agents or people or just whatever, saying that he wants to meet up with me after his lecture. They gave me a time, they gave me everything, even his son's mobile, which apparently he was meant to come get me, which was the person I was waiting for, but no one turned up. <laughs> so literally, I waited there for about like a good, I waited for at least four hours in total. Maybe slightly more actually, yeah, probably a bit more. Just so I can see him and then he just like leaves within like five minutes. Like, no joke, it was, oh, it was legit so depressing. Because I was waiting out there in the library for ages, no one texted me back. And then when I did see him come out, that was legit it. Like, he just walked out and he was about to leave. Luckily, I fucking like, called up when I did and said like, hey, it's me, what the fuck? And, uh, then they, he stopped and then we talked for a little bit, but that was legit it. And, like, even that photo that I took was, that was just, it was a shit photo, too. Like, what the fuck? Like, legit the photo, he, like, he had his eyes closed and everything. Like, come on, man. But I was just so fucking, like, I was so upset after that. Like, it was so bullcrap. So I waited, like, legit all that time to meet up with him and then... Legit, that happens. <sighs> I seriously cannot believe. Like, that was just, like, the worst thing that could have possibly happened. Like, actually, no, the worst thing that could have happened is if they just completely left, and then that was it. I was just stranded there waiting, and it fucking sucked. I waited all that time. I could have, you know, I could have been doing so much other stuff, but no, I, if, I even went there early to go see him earlier, and... Pfft, uh, nope, still nothing. Now it doesn't, and now it kind of like demotivates me to see him when he wanted to see me, which was like, like June, July or something. It was, other than that, I thought I edited that vlog like decently okay, like with all the cuts I did. Because originally it was like a half an hour vlog or something, and I managed to narrow it down to like, oh, my fucking internet is like the best in the world. Like, oh, it makes me so moist how good it is. So that was my experience, and uh, it was really crap. Also, just day in the video, I did record that on Valentine's Day. That's also why I said at the end of the video about the flower stuff. And anyway, I don't know really what to make of it. It was just, um, yeah. When he said, oh, Bailey, I didn't, ex I didn't expect this. <laughs> it doesn't add up. You said that you wanted to catch up with me and, and then you're like, nah. <sighs> also, I've been playing lots of Fortnite lately, like in my own time. Like I've been playing like a heap. I've just been playing with Corey and Dylan and it's just been so much fun just playing. I've actually got about five hours worth of footage of just us playing and like messing about. And mind you, we've been playing this before the, se the end of season two. So once season three happens, then obviously everything's gonna get reset. But I'm kind of wanting to like play like for the whole entire season, but I don't know, like, I'm just worried about buying stuff in Fortnite itself, like, in-game purchases. Mainly because I'm worried that the game is just gonna die down as soon as I do it, and pretty much, like, the popularity just goes completely. And I'm not talking about just for, like, YouTube sort of videos and stuff, or whatever. I'm just talking about in general popularity for the game. So I know with PUBG, that's sort of died down a little bit, though. But, like, then again, it still is such a popular game. Like, I know a lot of people still do play it, but the thing is, Fortnite is really beating that. The amount of money Fortnite's probably making, it's probably really crazy. Even though the game is free, they're still earning a lot of money. I have been playing a lot of World War 2, though. I'm still waiting for the DLC to come out because I'm on PC and obviously not PS4 exclusive, so that's rip. But I've just been grinding the absolute crap out of that. Not as much as I'd like to because the past like week or so I've just been so busy. Like this week that like right now is probably my least busiest week that I've had recently. And ugh, it still feels busy, I don't know why. But I know this Friday I believe for me I'm going to be recording some stuff on my series and then Saturday I'll be gone to... So pretty much I don't even have this weekend to myself, but that's okay. But you know what, weekends I've just sort of been 
just laying back, really. Usually Sundays is like the only actual weekend I properly do get, like, because I'm usually like at my girlfriend's or whatever, like every single weekend. And that's also what I'm gonna be doing Saturday night, so. Yeah, guys, me and Kane, we've got some videos probably coming out like sometime at the end of March, hopefully. I have a video of us playing Fortnite that was like pre recorded like a long time ago, like when he last came over. So I'm gonna have to edit that, like. Probably the next thing I'm gonna edit is that, and then upload all those, like, all that footage that I've just recently done. I wanna try and make them, like, two videos out of all those hours, because I just wanna make the video really good. But there's no face cam in it, because, I mean, my camera only does, like, half an hour each recording, which is so annoying. But then again, it's a DLS. Uh, it gets the job done, gets what I want done, so I'm happy with it. I really want to do a video just like talking about how much I hate school. You know what? No, N never mind. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to... I should just do a video where I talk about how crap my school is in general. That would be a great video. What is my internet lately? I seriously hate my freaking internet. No wonder why I can't stream all that much because like whenever I do, I just feel demotivated because my internet legit goes to like absolute crap. Also, by the time this video is out because it's the 19th of february tomorrow is when monetization will be completely cut from my youtube channel until i hit the 4,000 hours which honestly it's fair i don't really care about that but still i'm still gonna be annoyed if they take away the scheduling upload thing because i've talked about this so many times now but if they take away my schedule upload thing i'm oh, i'm gonna be on dangry it's just so much, so much easier when I can just tell it to upload at whatever time I want. And then I can relax and go on a holiday and not have to worry about a thing for like a week or two. Just fingers crossed. <laughs> but yeah, when I get the better internet, I'll be streaming like so much. Like, I'm probably going to be streaming a lot of Call of Duty, in my opinion. That's what I think I'm going to be doing. And obviously, if Fortnite's still really popular in the next couple of months, then sure, I'll stream Fortnite. Like, seriously, if it's, like, really popular in the next couple of months when I do get that good internet, then... <sighs> Damn, hell yeah, I'll just stream Fortnite. Even when I stream Roblox, it's still, like, internet is so terrible. Actually, now I'm kind of tempted to stream for, like, half an hour. I... Actually, no. Now, it was really funny today. So, in history class, I was, like, pretty much sitting on my table next to my girlfriend. And, as usual, I never do any of my work. And I pretty much fell asleep in class and my girlfriend told me, so what happened was when I was asleep, I was pretty, I think I was dreaming because of, like my body was twitching and my mouth was like moving like I was talking or something. And then everyone apparently was, someone said that I was asleep and then everyone was looking at me while I was asleep, which I had no idea about. And then the teacher was looking because someone said, oh yeah, Bailey's asleep. And then he was looking at me and then he says, Oh, must have had a rough weekend, and just like casually goes on with his like teaching the class. And I think I woke up like towards the end of class, and then yeah, as I was like walking out, that's when uh, Shani told me, yeah, that's pretty much what happened. I'm like, oh my god, that would have been pretty fun here to watch. <laughs> Seriously, I I had no idea that even happened at all. Like I was so knocked out. Seriously though, props to my teacher. Honestly, he's so awesome for like just letting me sleep and not waking me up like some teachers might. There's a lot of teachers who just won't give a crap and go, hey, wake up, this is class, not freaking bedtime or whatever. You know what? You make you guys make me up at like freaking 7.30 something in the morning. And I don't care how I don't give a shit what time you guys wake up if it's like six in the morning. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't care, I need my sleep. I don't even get enough anyway. So no, how dare you? How dare you make me wake up at that time? I need my beauty sleep, thank you very much. Because I'm obviously beautiful. My mum told me I was beautiful, okay? <clears throat> when I was three. Or two, and then I turned three, and then she hated me. She probably tried to get me, like, aborted or some shit because she thought I was, like, so much of a little shit. No, she probably tried to, like, some make up some excuse just to get rid of me or adopt me, and then no one would take me. I swear to god, every time I play CSGO, it's been a long time. I remember the days when I used to just play competitive, like, non-stop, and, like, get all the wins and all the kills. Nowadays, I probably couldn't do that. Eventually, when Kane gets back and he has a computer that he can actually use, I'm telling you now, it's 
We're going to be grinding on Call of Duty. We're going to be grinding on CSGO. We're going to be grinding on Roblox. It's going to be amazing, and I cannot wait. I'm really excited for the new Rainbow Six Siege Outbreak mode. I should probably, like, get it set up so I can do a video on it. I reckon that would be fun. Also, speaking of, like, arms race and stuff, Gun Game on World War II is actually really good. And I think it's actually, like, really balanced well as well. Like, you should see some of the plays I've been doing on the game. It's honestly insane. I've been doing pretty well on Gun Game. Thing is, Gun Game in, like, Black Ops 2, for example, was absolutely, like, my favorite thing. Like, I loved it. I would decimate everyone. I can't yell too loud because apparently my mum and boyfriend's asleep, so. And do you know what's annoying? They text me early because I was raging at Fortnite before, which there'll be a video of that. But apparently she sent me a text telling me to shut up. But the thing is, I don't have reception. How does she expect me to freaking know, honestly? She goes, I sent you a text. I'm like, I don't get a text. And she thinks I'm lying, but I still don't even have the text. I'm in SOS only mode right now. I really miss that one lobby that when like everyone just stopped killing at each other and then we had that fight between me and Kane with the knives. It was so amazing. So close. To be fair, I haven't played in a while, okay? I'm still the arms race legend, okay? It's the only thing I'm good at in a game. Anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a comment down below what you guys thought about this Kevin Rod situation too, because <laughs> total waste of time. Anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. See us all later. Stay sexy, quantums, and goodbye. See us. Everything I used to dream being real right now, now, now. If it wasn't working, I'm a